grid tiles here. So what we can do is update the answer stage for each of these and have that determine what color the grid tile should be. So first of all, let's come here and I'll remove the print function. And we just want to loop through the last five entries and set the answer stage to correct for all of them. So I'll create a loop and I'll just copy this loop here. So we loop through the last five entries and then I'll type in tiles entered at the index of i dot answer stage is equal to answer stage dot correct. Now we have a red line here under the answer stage. So let's check this out. Control B and we can see that the answer stage is final and we want this to be able to update. So I'll remove this final keyword here. Now back in the controller, that error has gone. Now down here, we want to set an individual letter to correct. So I'll copy this here and paste this in here. I'll remove the print function. So here this cycles through the five letters of the guessed and correct word, but we want this to update to the last five letters and tiles entered. So here I'll write plus current row times five. And then lastly, down here, I'll remove the print function and I'll type tiles entered at the index of j plus current row times five dot answer stage. And this time answer stage should be set to contains. And finally, we only want to set it as contains if it's not already set as correct. So we'll do a check up here. If tiles entered, I'll copy this. I'll paste this in here dot letter dot answer stage is not equal to answer stage dot correct. In that case, we can update it. So if it's already set as correct, then we don't want to change it to contains. And now let's update the colors on the grids and the keyboard to match this green and yellow on Wordle. And to get an approximation of the colors, I've just used a color tool on the screen. Now back in our constants, I'm going to create a new file named colors. And now let's create the green and yellow. So these will be consts, correct green equals color, import the material. And here I'll type 255, 255, 107, 170, 100. The yellow const 255, 201, 180, 87. Now back in the controller, I'm also going to write notify listeners so our listeners can be updated when these values are changing. So now let's go to our tile and update the color. So first of all, I'm going to right click on stateless widget and convert to a stateful widget. And that is because we want to update the color and also apply some animation soon on this widget. So we want the state of this widget to be able to change. And in the state class, I'm going to create a couple of variables. The first will be of type color. I'll name this background color and I'll set this to transparent and also of type answer stage. And I'll make this a late variable because we'll initialize this down here in the build method. Now down here, we've used notifier, so from provider, to access the controller and set the text based on this index. And we can do that with our answer stage too. So answer stage notifier.tiles entered. And I'm typing widget to grab the index that's passed into the stateful widget down here in the state class dot index dot answer stage. Okay, now we have the answer stage. We can now use that to set the color variable. So if the answer stage is correct and also And now let's set the background color in here. So if it's correct, background color should be set to correct green. So that constant we created earlier. And down here, background color should be set to contains yellow. Now let's set the background of our text. So right click, wrap with a container, and then we'll set the color equal to background color. I'm also going to remove that center because we don't need it. And instead, I'm going to wrap that text with a fitted box. 
and I'll set the fit property to contain so it'll make the character as big as possible without overlapping which is what we want now let's do a hot restart and now let's type in PZAAA okay awesome so P is green and Z is yellow so our grid colors are updating now let's put in a row of Z's cool and that's worked now let's put in one more test okay awesome so P is in the right spot that's green I is in the right spot A is in the wrong spot so it's turned yellow let's also make that text a little bit smaller I'll put that in some padding and I'll set that as 6 cool okay now let's set the keys on our keyboard so we'll go back to the controller so we use the same idea so we know our keys are set by our keys map so here we have a key which represents the key on the keyboard and the value is answer stage we can just update the answer stage and then have that set the color of the keys on the keyboard so let's do that now so here where the whole word is correct we can write keys map import the library and we can use the update method which will look for this key that we input in here and if it finds it it'll update the corresponding value so let's find the key tiles entered at the index of i dot letter so if it finds that key then we should update the value to answer stage dot correct now down here let's do the same thing where an individual letter is correct keys map dot update put in the key and to find the key I'm just going to type in guest word at the index of I and answer stage dot correct and then finally down here we want to set the key as yellow now also we want to make sure that if the key is green already we then don't want to turn that back to yellow so first we need to look up the keys we're interested in in this loop and then check if the answer stage is not correct then we can set it as contains so to do that I'll write keys map and I'll use the keys map dot entries to look at all the entries and then I'll use the where function and this will return true when this condition is satisfied so when element ie each key value pair so dot key is equal to tiles entered at and I'll copy in this here so it's the same the same index so this will look for that key in the key map let's return that in a temporary variable which I'll name result key and then we can run a basic condition if result key dot single we can only access one key value pair dot value is equal to answer stage dot correct and then we can write here keys map dot update at the result key and we can set this answer stage dot contains so just to recap this logic here is saying yes we should set this as contains but before we do that this where function will check if we already have this key in our keys map and is the answer stage the value of that key already set as correct and if it isn't then we can update okay now let's update the UI go to our keyboard row and firstly what we need to do is to wrap this row with a consumer from provider so this will rebuild when we have new values because at the moment it's just a stateless widget and I'll write in here controller and we need to replace this with a builder I'll use this arrow syntax and then I'll change it to a block body so we can write in code here so that's a bit of a shortcut to wrap this up in these brackets and I'll cut this index and we want to reset this to zero in here in the builder so every time this runs this is reset to zero and then here I'll create a temporary variable of type color I'll name that color and I'll initially set that color to gray but we'll change this shortly when we apply a theme to this project 
So this will just be a temporary value. And now we can do some if statements to go if the key value pair represented by this E that's passed in here dot value is equal to answer stage dot correct then the color should be set to correct green else if the value is set to answer stage dot contains then color should be set to contains yellow now down here I'm going to remove this red property here because we're not using it and change this container to a size box by right clicking now the color is set in a material here so let's write color and pass in color and now let's do a hot restart and check this out so the keys are now all gray P I A A A okay awesome so we have P is green and I is green let's put a letter in the wrong spot so we'll put Z at the start cool and Z is yellow now let's put Z in the right spot and that should turn green awesome okay so it looks like the keys on the keyboard are working too so we have the color of this app updating In the next video, we'll apply a theme to the app.